All right, uh, what's going on, guys? It's Yin Yo, and I'm back with another video. And uh, this is part two of Narco. The game actually releases on March 24th, I believe. It, I'm actually digging it so far. This is supposed to be like a one off thing, but I think I'll make this into a series. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, we found out that Catherine had cancer. His mother had cancer, and she died. And Million is the robot that's outside. She was a security android and a fugitive. Or she guarded the perimeter of the aluminum refinery. And one day she ran away. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know. Alright. Oh. Uh, Blake. His brother. Your brother. Younger. Reckless. Gets in trouble. Spends sleepless nights scrolling image boards. An edgelord, a shitlord, and a, a sensitive soul, compassionate, foolish, can't take criticism, always need money, tries to help those he loves, but often makes things worse. Damn, tough. The grandma said that she didn't expect much from Blake. Damn. She said he was short-tempered, oblivious, and couldn't focus. Blake was sitting in the chair across from her, staring down at, the, at a tablet. After she left the room, he asked how he felt. I feel fine, he said. Why? Because of what Grand said, he responded. He looked confused. What'd she say? Ha! <laughs> there you go. Your grandfather, Peter Pops. Peter Pops. What a name. Pops Perry Millicon has passed. He passed away when you were a teenager. He seemed to court controversy. Though as a child, you never understood why. Hmm. Interesting. So... Just like last time, we need to go to the gas station to get a fuse for the bike for million, million, and then Blake knows something, so we gotta find him. Three times this house is flooded, the first flood. The first flood is a shadow of memory. Placing your feet down on drench drench carpet, your mom and grandfather ripping up. Sitting in a small RV in the backyard, setting dolls on a cluttered little table. Second flood. No! Damn it. I, yeah, I already read that. You were 14. The pumping station failed during a heavy rain. You were in class, watching the clouds move upriver. You got a text from your mom. Stay in Vestrion. I'll come get you. For two weeks, you shared a hotel room with your mom and Blake. She spent all her days gutting the house. In the evening, you would, come, you would sometimes help. A third flood. Another pump fare? God damn. Your mom hired contractors with the insurance money. She said she was getting too old for it. You were bitter. You blamed her for not selling the house sooner. You stayed with friends in New Orleans. The fourth flood? What the fuck, nigga? The fourth flood will follow a slow hurricane and... Jesus. These guys can't catch a break. <laughs> it will leave the entire region submerged as critical. Damn. There will be a massive blackout in the last weeks. Much of the sewage, sewer, sewage infrastructure will be damaged beyond repair. And battle federal government will do nothing to assist. Typical. It will bankrupt the region. Wow. Will be squatted and then raised. Holy fucking shit. Mary, cat. Your mom fed the neighborhood strays. They must be hungry since she put out. That's sad. Your grandfather's statue of Merging Mary sits in the shadows alone with the crawl space of the house. Crawl space. You observe the weather country and flaking paint of the statue. Inspect further. The faces, especially, you uh, deteriorate, deteriorate, deteriorated, framed by a system of cracks. Hmm. Anything else I can? You run your hands along the deteriorating contours of the of the statue. Oh shit! It snaps off by as if by design. Behind the statue's face hides an old assemblage of electronics, carelessly shouldered, soldered, soldered. Oh my god! Together. 
At the center of the electronic configuration is what appears to be a card reader. Huh. Virgin Mary ain't so... Let me not make that joke. <laughs> a card reader, huh? Interesting. I don't have any... I don't have a card on me. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. That's interesting. Oh yeah, I already know all that now, but... Huh. Alright. Well, uh, I've seen everything I need to see here, so... Let's go to the street. Padue, private investigators. We snoop for you. Nice. Sisters. What are they talking about? Is that a turtle? Is that a fucking turtle? The turtle. He crawled out of the trash can. Don't touch him. He, <laughs> He's dirty. I mean, he's just living. No, he's not. Turtles are always clean. They live in the water. I mean, that isn't necessarily true. Trash water is not clean. We got to go. Just let me stare a little longer. Yeah, he gonna bite your ass in a second. Alright, um, door. Let's take a look, sir. No answer. Oh, oh never mind. Don't use this camera. Yeah, look through the window. The snowball stand is closed for the window for the winter. Hmm. I'll go this way first. The floodgate tavern. Many shield workers gather here after their shift. It's closed. Should be open later in the evening. Damn. Okay, Apple Street. Uh, let's try over here. There's the gas station I needed to get to. And Troy is in there, and he has the fucking fuse. Film set. A film crew is set up along the river road. Several floodlights illuminate a gruesome murder scene. Two men stand pensively above a corpse. A poster set. Interesting. I want to go here first. As you near the set, a small, energetic man jumps from his chair. Attention, dumbass. Can't you see we're trying to shoot here? <laughs> what are you filming? Yeah, that's what I want to know. It's a detective. Drama called. None of your goddamn business. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, what's up with you, man? I'll make sure I'll put a terrible review on this movie when it comes out. Rude. Dickhead. Stupid. <clears throat> you know what? Wait a second. Wait a second. You from around here? Yeah. We could use some cultural expertise, you might say. We're filming a bayou, a bio, cop, bio, 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 whatever. Cop drama and all these knuckleheads are from LA. An actor on set turned towards the director. I told you, Kevin. I'm from t I'm from Texas. Oh, that's right. No, I forgot. Your Harvard-educated daddy bought a boutique ranch outside Austin. Well, that don't make you a cowboy. Now, hush up before you scare off the yokel. This dialogue, dude. The director turns his attention to you with a mild look of disgust. Motherfucker. Help us out, will you? This script needs some work. What do you say? Shoot, as an aspiring filmmaker myself, this is actually a dream come true. Go ahead. Great. Hey, Noah, get over here so you can learn something from this little stupid redneck. I kind of regret my decisions. This guy's a dickhead. The actor smolders. He whispers under his breath. I'm a redneck. Fine, Noah. You're a redneck. A real salt-of-the-earth kind of guy. But as luck would have it, we came, we've, we came across an even dumpier... <laughs> oh my gosh. So let's just take a knee. All right, anyway, we need some good slang. What do you call a villain? A bad apple, a low life. What the fuck? Why is this even a choice? Asshole. That's it? An asshole? Yeah, I mean, what else would you fucking call him? That's real creative. Yes, it is. Thank you. It's, it's, it's... Get out of here, what? Nah, man. <laughs> Heck no. Nah. we gotta go back. Ah, uh, I guess I should have picked something else. Whatever. Go on to the fucking store. Oh, well, well. Look who's back. Good lord. Yeah, you look like a fucking Troy. Colonel forgot you beside the road. You brought your little, you brought your little doll. Hey, hey, don't talk about monkey like that. He'll stare you into oblivion. That's cute. Oh, Troy, you look like shit. Yeah, right, because my mom died. Uh, 
I don't know which one to pick. But he does look like shit, though. Not even gonna start with you. How come the rest of your family so chill, but you so uptight? Like, you know anything? My mom just died, thanks. <laughs> They'd never let her die. What? If anything, she's probably vacationing on the hard drive somewhere. You're trolling me about my dead mom? Yeah, like, what? What do you know? Can't say nothing around here. Your mom was excava excavating all along the rim of the lake. She used to pay me to help from time to time, matter of fact. She needed somebody smart. Somebody vigilant. Somebody like me. Yeah, you don't, yeah, I don't know about all that. Especially with shields snooping around. I seen some wild shit out in them swamps with Catherine. What kind of shit? I won't bother telling you about it. It might hurt your brain. And anyhow, this story, this ain't story time. Not letting you in this gas station. Goddamn company that um, runs this dump did me dirty. They swapped me with an ATM machine for speaking truth. Ain't letting nobody through till I get an apology. That sucks. Maybe if I help him, he might, you know, budge. Don't try to patronize me with your weak pity. If you really want to get through, go get me some of them pills your brother was selling. That might persuade me. So now I gotta find Blake. Fight. Leave. Fight. Leave. This nigga can't fight. Hey, you know what, man? Fuck this guy. We're not... Nah, you're not getting no fucking pills. You look like you've had enough. You don't even have any hair on your... You should cut that shit off. That shit is not working out for you. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You joking, right? Trying to get wrecked. <laughs> All right, then let's go. All right, cool. Wait, what am I supposed to... Okay. Monkey. I, ch I put my faith into you, monkey. Oh, shit. I wasn't ready. Damn. Okay, resting. We'll try this again. I'm so bad at this. Okay. Uh <clears throat> Oh that was easy. Oh wow, I actually fucking won. That's crazy. Huh. I don't even need to give him pills, I can go straight into the gas station now. Kiosk, what's this? Uh Good evening, how may I help you? You on this place? You know that guy trail outside? On the discounter where? A distributed cloud-based operating system for American Discount Southeast <coughs> Incorporated Cinematic Version of 15.3.3 Okay. The owner of this franchise is Parallax and Sons LLC. Discounter where is licensed to per- I don't feel like reading this fucking shit. How do you like this job? I'm pretty sure he loves it. He's a fucking android. I prefer I probably perform the routine maintenance of operations and procedures of 227 American discount. Southeast and da 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 Okay. Thank you for your inquiry. I am forwarding to the What? That's not what I fucking asked. <laughs> I'm sure they did. And apparently he doesn't know Troy, so that's a stupid question to ask. Um Where's that fuse at? There it is. Nice, nice, nice. Take him. Nice. I detect you have merchandise in your possession. You must remove any um per man, go fuck yourself, man. Look at his ass. Look at his ass out there. That nigga is knocked the fuck out. And we did that shit. Alright. Has no effect. Oh, right, 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 right. Wait, wait, wait. You scan the fuse. Thank you for your purchase. Okay, so I can waltz on out of here now, right? Candy. I might as well take that too. Oh, I guess not. Is there anything else that I can take in here and talk for? Which I really don't need. Okay, yeah, I, I think I got everything I need out of here. I might just end this here though. Uh, take a little breather. But uh, yeah, that was part two of uh, Norco. Pretty good so far. I really wish things went better with the film set, but whatever. Uh, well, yeah, I will see you next time.